Hello everyone, welcome to EDO Oceans. In this video, we will talk about what is the SAP UFI and the Fury and their architectures. And after that, we will discuss what are the difference between them. So let's get start with it. So what is UFI? So UFI is a framework for building responsive web application. So the framework is nothing but it's a platform for building the web application which provides predefined classes, methods, and functions. And the responsive web application means once built can run on multiple devices or the platform like desktop, mobile, and the tablets. So SAP UFI is a client technology based on JavaScript, HTML5, and the CSS. So it is a client side technology, not a server side. It delivers the web application based on one of the popular web-based languages, languages like HTML5, JavaScript, and the CSS which makes the application dynamic, rich in user interface and compatible with any web browsers. So SAP UFI works on the concept of MVC. So MVC is a model view controller. It's a software architectural pattern for implementing the user interface. So where the UI design application logic and the, mod and the data model is separated. And finally, the SAP UFI works on both ECC and SAP S4 HANA. So ECC is nothing but it's a SAP ERP product and the S4 HANA is a latest generation of SAP ECC ERP system. So which is also supported by SAP UFI. So what is SAP Fury? So SAP Fury, it's a new user experience or a platform for SAP apps. So SAP Fury user experience focuses on the most critical and the common activities and offers a solution that is designed to make the user experience delightful. SAP Fury provides the services like the Fury Launchpad, Standard Apps, and the SAP Fury App Library. So SAP Fury Launchpad, it's an entry point and the shell that hosts the SAP Fury apps and provides the apps with the services such as navigation and personalization and the application configuration. So finally, so SAP Fury provides the five design principles which make the application role-based, simple and delightful and responsive. So that is nothing but SAP Fury. So what, what is the architecture of uh, the SAP Fury? So, uh, so when the architecture comes, so first we have the database or the backend system uh, where our business application uh, logic reside for all the Fury uh, apps. So we have created, and after that uh, we do have the SAP. Uh, we do have the SAP Gateway and O Data services, where the so the gateway is set up and activate the O Data services. And the OData services are, are the mandatory component for running the SAP Fury apps because they retrieve the business data or the use in SAP Fury apps from the backend system. And then we have the, so this is for, uh, this is related to the Fury and the, so next we have the, for developers perspective, we have uh, the ABAP development is done in Eclipse or you can say it as uh, the SAP GUI. So for the for the front end server, we do have the web ID where actual the it's like a SAP Fury user interface where where developer uh, where developer can write his logic and finally he can he should be able to test it that is in the mobile or the desktop or the laptop devices. So same we do have the SAP Fury Launchpad. So Launchpad is nothing but it's where the or, SAP, uh, the Fury applications are hosted. And uh, so once so once it is hosted, uh, so user can run in on the, the browsers or the SAP Fury client, which is nothing but it's a pre-packaged version of the, the SAP Fury Launchpad. So it, it can give the access to the Fury apps within the mobile mobile environment. Okay. So, so that's that's the architecture of uh, SAP Fury. So then we have the what are the main differences between SAP UFI and the Fury. 
So first thing, SAP UFI is a framework. So we already know. So framework is nothing but it's a environment or uh, which provides uh, capabilities to build an application with based on predefined classes, functions, and methods. So that that is that's why the SAP UFI is a framework. So whatever the final outcome or the final product, we can say it's nothing but it's a SAP Fury. So you can call it as a, the final application. So next thing, the SAP UFI is a technical aspect. Yes, SAP is uh, the whatever you do in SAP, it's related to the technical. That is, you have to be uh, means you you must at least have the knowledge of the JavaScript HTML file in order to build those applications. So SAP Fury is a functional type. So so functional means uh, you just need to know so what what are the basic configurations and setups in order to uh, in order to deploy those applications on the SAP Fury Launchpad. So yes, SAP UFI it's consists of code. So everything you write, it's a code only to build the SAP UFI applications. And uh, so SAP Fury is nothing but it's uh, activation configuration and setups. So in order to activate those uh, applications on the Launchpad, so there, so there is some configuration which need to be done. So then, uh, then we can finally see the outcome in the launch pad that nothing but it's a Fury application. So that's it, guys. Uh, guys, thank you. Uh, thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So for uh, more informative videos like this, thank you so much.